Good morning. Welcome back, everybody. Well, there's a big game this Sunday. And you know what? I have a good feeling about this one. It's got to be better than the last one, right? Definitely going to be having people over to watch the game. And you want some munchies? Well, I've got the perfect thing, especially this time of year. You know, people always think tomatoes is an August thing. But you know what? Especially this year, the tomatoes are really wonderful right now. So, And so is the corn, the corn on the cob. Love that wonderful, fresh, bicolor corn that you can pick up at the farmer's market, even at the grocery store they're carrying local corn or at that little um, side stand. So take advantage of it. Pick up some wonderful tomatoes and some great corn and make this corn and black bean salsa. It's 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 guilt free, especially if you do it with um, baked chips. So you can just pig out on it, and it's so easy to throw together. So I've got some some diced tomato here, and just kind of seed it, so that we're not using all the the seeds and the liquid in there to keep this as a nice and chunky fresh salsa. So get rid of those seeds. So we've got some gorgeous. Look at how gorgeous this diced tomato is. And you can even make this salsa recipe all year long using uh, Roma tomatoes or some of the vine ripe tomatoes that you'll see in the grocery store. It's not just a summertime thing. Then I've got some wonderful, beautiful corn. And if you didn't want to take the time to take the corn off the corn on the cob, you could just use frozen corn or even canned corn. Just drain it real well. I've got some a can of black beans that are so good for you and I love them. Just make sure to drain them really well and rinse them to get all of that uh, kind of icky liquid out of there. Don't want our salsa full of that. Then I love a little avocado because I love guacamole. If you're not a big fan of avocado, you can leave that out, but just one diced avocado. Then I've got some finely diced red onion. And I like to use red onion in this recipe for the color and also really got some great flavor. Now, this is optional. If you like a little heat, which I do in my salsa, I'm going to use, uh, I've got some fresh jalapeno pepper that I've really um, chopped up super duper fine. But you can certainly leave that out. A little bit of garlic. Some chopped fresh cilantro, which I happen to love. Some people don't. If you don't like cilantro, you could just use fresh chopped parsley. Some more lime juice to bind this all together and keep that avocado from turning brown. And then some salt. And that's it. I mean, how easy is that? Just gently toss it together because you want to keep, you don't want to mash up those beans. And look at how gorgeous that is. And I have to tell you, if there's a game going on, I'm a muncher. Put a dip in front of me and I'll pretty much eat the whole bowl. So this is a, a dip that you can actually feel pretty good about it. But you'll have plenty to share with the rest of your guests too. You can make this a, a day or so ahead of time. I wouldn't make it much before that because you want to keep um, those the avocado and the tomatoes and everything really, really nice and fresh. And then just serve this with some great chips. And by the way, on today's Living with Amy, it's all about football fever. We've got some really fun football recipes for you. We're going to make a slow cooker hot beef sandwich that your whole family will love and then a homemade French onion dip. You know, you always pick up the kind at the grocery store. Wait till you see the one I'm making. Really, really simple. And then I'm always cooking even on the weekend, so make sure and watch Sunday. I've got a delicious chicken enchilada casserole recipe that you can put together in minutes. Really, really good. Doesn't this look good? Recipe for this uh, corn and black bean salsa, you'll find it on our website. You can also pick it up at any Festival Foods. I think you're really going to like this one. Yum. We'll be back. Stay with us. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.